Hey, Bills here. Uh, just a real quick rundown on the new cluster feature uh, sim link built into the new latest version of ASM. It's really simple. Create your server, you know, create your new servers or use your old existing servers, whatever. No matter what you do, always back up your save directory. You should just be doing that anyhow as a server manager slash admin. It's the right thing to do for your players. Um, so you just take, you know, you take your one. And then you may, you know, set your map, all that good crap. Then you come down here, you create your cluster ID, you know, whatever you want it to be. One, three, 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 whatever, whatever. You do all that. You don't need to worry about this save directory unless you want it to be in a separate directory. Then you would save it. You know, hit save. I'm not doing this because this is, I'm doing this on my home PC. This isn't where my dedicated servers are located. You just save it. Well, before you hit save, actually come down here to the transfer and you want to enable tribute downloads and you want to uncheck all this other stuff or you want to leave it checked, whatever. Um, this no transfer fil from filter, that means that if you have the tributes turned on to download, they can't do it unless it's a clustered server. So obviously you probably want that because you don't want people bringing stuff in from other worlds, but it's okay to bring it in from your world. So I enable those two. This is how my servers are set up. Just those two, I allow them to do everything else. And like I said, cluster ID on your one server. Then you'd hit save. And then once that's all saved, then hit create sim link. Then come over to your second server. Make sure the cluster ID is exactly the same. Um, enable your tribute downloads. And then if you don't want them to upload download from this server or vice versa, obviously, you know, some servers set it up that you can take things the one way, but you can't take it back the other way. That choice is yours. Obviously, you still want to enable no transfer from filter. Good. Once that's all, hit save. Then hit create sim link. Once you've saved and it waits, and then hit sim link, and the little check mark should show up in the box. And then that means that these two servers have a created sim link. See, this one's already has one because, well, I was playing around with the old way on my desktop. But you'll get that little check mark. That's all you got to do to create, to get the cross transfer working in the latest ASM. I hope this explains a little for you. Thank you.